Hey everyone, this is Rob with Defenders of Wildlife wishing you a happy orca month. Something that every homeowner can do to help orcas this month is plant a rain garden. Every time that it rains, the water that hits our streets, buildings, and lawns washes away all the chemicals and pollution on these surfaces. This includes oil from our cars, chemicals that we spray on our lawns, and any pet waste that we don't pick up. All this pollution gets washed down the storm drains and into local rivers and streams, eventually reaching the ocean. Stormwater runoff is the biggest source of pollution here in the Salish Sea, and it has a big impact on wildlife, especially southern resident orcas. When pollution enters the Salish Sea, it also enters the food chain. Because of all this pollution, the southern resident orcas are full of harmful toxics that make them sick and prevent them from raising healthy orca calves. Stormwater also destroys salmon habitat and can kill salmon before they're able to spawn. This leaves fewer fish for the orcas to eat, and the salmon that do survive are just full of pollution. Fortunately, there are a lot of things that people can do to reduce stormwater runoff. You can do simple things like fix leaking cars, going chemical free in your yard and garden, and picking up after your pets. For homeowners, you can go one step further by planting a rain garden. These are bowl-shaped landscaping features that capture and filter stormwater runoff, and it's a great way to be a good neighbor to our endangered southern resident orcas. Many cities and counties have programs for people like me who want to install their own rain garden. Because I live in Tacoma, I got help from the Pierce Conservation District's Rain Garden Assistance Program. Through this program, homeowners get a free design and low-cost plants for their rain garden. I signed up for the program last year and it was a huge help to figure out my rain garden size and the best plants to use. After I got the design, I first dug out the area where my rain garden would go. Second, I connected one of my roof's gutters to a pipe that I had laid in a trench, so part of my roof runoff would go directly into the rain garden. Third, I filled a hole with special rain garden soil mix, making sure to shape the rain garden in a bowl shape. Fourth, I covered the rain garden with mulch to help keep out weeds and grass. Fifth, and finally, the plants were delivered and were planted in the rain garden. It's also important to maintain your rain garden. That means pulling weeds and removing and replacing plants as necessary. I love my rain garden. Not only do I feel good knowing that I'm doing my part to protect southern resident orcas from stormwater runoff, but my rain garden also attracts bees, butterflies, birds, and other wildlife. And if you're like me, gardening is a great way to relieve stress. Together, we can all do our part to coexist alongside southern resident orcas. That's why Defenders and our local partners joined together to create the Orcas Love Rain Gardens program. Through this program, we've been able to reach over 500 students at 11 schools here in Tacoma to plant and maintain rain gardens on their campuses or at a nearby park. By engaging these students and giving them hands-on opportunities in the garden, we hope to inspire the next generation of leaders to plant more rain gardens and protect our endangered southern resident orcas from stormwater runoff. So take action this Orca Month by planting a rain garden of your own. Click the link to find some resources to help you get started. And happy Orca Month!